चैप्टर वन द अर्थ एंड द ग्रेटिक्यूल्स मेक फ्रेंड्स विथ मैप्स ऑब्जर्व फिगर वन पॉइंट वन एंड आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन पॉइंट वन विच प्लेस आर शोन ऑन द मैप पॉइंट टू इन विच सिटी इस ताजमहल लोकेटेड पॉइंट थ्री इन विच कॉन्टिनेंट इस ताजमहल लोकेटेड पॉइंट फोर इन विच डायरेक्शन द ताजमहल लोकेटेड फॉर ग्राहम इन सेंट पीटर्सबर्ग फॉर केटिया इन किम्बरली फॉर मिसिको इन टोक्यो एंड मीनाक्षी इन पॉट ब्लेर शाहिद इन आगरा इज स्पेसिफाइंग द डायरेक्शन इन विच द अदर लिव्स हाउ विल ही एक्सप्रेस दम In which direction will Natalia in Rome and Enric in Lima say the other children live? Will their answer be same? Graham, Katya, Michiko. नतालिया मीनाक्षी शाहिद एंड इनरिक हैव आंसर द एव क्वेश्चन डिफरेंटली यूजिंग डायरेक्शन एंड सब डायरेक्शन द ताजमहल इज लोकेटेड एट वन एंड सेम प्लेस एंड दैट इज आगरा हाउ एवर वेन ईच वन ऑफ द चिल्ड्रेन टोल द डायरेक्शन फ्रॉम द रिस्पेक्टिव प्लेसेस देयर आंसर वर डिफरेंट दिस मीन दैट द यूज ऑफ डायरेक्शन alone does not help us to accurately describe the location of a place that is why it became necessary to find a new system to state the precise location of any place on the earth let us see what it is think a little observe the globe in your school think about the following question and then discuss them there are some vertical and horizontal line on the globe which of these line are more in number what level do these line have what similarities and differences do you see in the level will it be possible to actually draw such line on the earth explanation figure 1.2 shows the length of the east west north south diameter of the earth which will give you some idea about the size of the earth oceanic water uneven nature of the land forest innumerable island of different size buildings make it po- impossible to actually draw such line on earth in order to overcome this difficulty geographers develop a miniature model of the earth in the form of globe this can be used to determine location on the earth one can actually draw horizontal and vertical line on the globe though not on the earth thus they are imaginary line on the earth the location of any place on the earth is determined with reference to the center of the earth in order to do it we consider a straight line joining the point on the surface and the center of the earth at the center 
it makes an angle with plane of equator. The measure of angle is used to determine the location. For example, in figure 1.3, the measures of angle XMV is 30 degree. That is, its angular distance from the equator is 30 degree. Look at the figure and tell the angular distance of y from the equator. In figure 1.3 shows another plane it passes through x. It is parallel to plane of the equator. Observe 1.3 and see how it meet the surface of the earth. Note that it form a circle on the surface. Any point on this circle and the equatorial plane form an angle of 30 degree at the center of the earth. Do it yourself. Use figure 1.4 for the following. In upper portion of the circle at the center X drawn angle of 20 degree V1 X K1 V2 X K2 K1 and K2 being the position on the circle draw an ellipse joining K1 and K2 In the lower half of the circle mark angle of 60 degree and name the points on the circle P1 and P2 Draw an ellipse joining P1 and P2. Can you tell? Are the distance between K1, K2, P1, P2 the same? Compare the distance X, K1 and X, P2. Are these distance same or they are different? Now compare the ellipse you have drawn. Which is the larger ellipse? Why? Explanation. Parallel of latitudes. You must have realized that the ellipse drawn by joining 20 degree point is larger than ellipse that join the 60 degree point. However, the distance x k1 and x p2 are the same. This is because we are dealing with spare. Note that though these lines appear to be ellipse in the diagram on the globe, they are circle. The circles thus create created at some angular distance from the center of the earth are parallel to one another. Hence, they are called parallel of these latitudes. The values of parallels are angu angular measures expressed in degrees. The degree of parallel are measured from the equator as shown in figure 1.5 that is why the equator is considered as zero degree parallel it is the largest parallel and also great circle the angular distance of other parallel towards north and south goes on increasing away from the equator
Use your brain power. Explain the meaning of the term equator. The equator bisect the earth into north and south part. The one to the north is called north hemisphere, while the one to the south is called south hemisphere. Toward toward the north and south of the equator, parallels of the latitude progressively become smaller and smaller on the globe and also on the earth at the north and south end the earth axis they appear as point these are called north pole and south pole respectively while mentioning the value of parallel it is necessary to mention whether it is in north northern or southern hemisphere the parallel from the northern hemisphere are referred to as 5 degree north 15 degree north 30 degree north 50 degree north whereas the parallels from the southern hemisphere are referred to as 5 degree south 15 degree south 30 degree south and 50 degree south the line joining all the places located to north of the equator at angular distance of 30 degree is 30 degree north parallel hence the place on this parallel will be at the same latitude which is 30 degree north new orleans in north america cairo in africa or basra and lhasa in asia are all located in 30 degree north parallel the same concept holds good for all other parallels see figure 1.6 one can draw 181 parallels on the earth at same at the interval of 1 degree point 1 at 0 degree that is the equator 90 parallel on northern hemisphere minus 1 degree north to 90 degree north 90 parallels in the southern hemisphere minus 1 degree south to 90 degree south do it yourself take an orange and peel off its skin you will see the segment inside and thin vertical line in them carefully take out one segment observe the segment and the gap it has left in the orange see figure 1.7 see if the shape of the central and terminal portion of the segment is same or different see if the angle of the gap is same at all point find how many segment there are in an orange the orange is spherical with circular cross section there are 360 degree in a circle the earth being spherical 
be considered 360 degree with earth to the with respect to the earth as well in figure 1.8 angle abc angle def angle ghi have the same measurement 50 degree however the distance between a and c d and f and g and i are different when measured on earth's surface that is because the earth is spherical in shape do it yourself use figure 1.9 to do following let the line am be 0 degree draw the line mb measure the angle it makes with the line am and write it near b note the semicircle that passes through b and join the north and south pole trace it Now join MC, measure angle AMC and write it next to C. Draw semicircle that passes through C and join the north and south poles. Draw a line that passes through point A at 0 degree and join the north and south poles. Explanation Meridians of Longitudes You will realize that the line drawn from a point A, B and C make angles at M. The center of the earth on the plane to the equator through these points we can draw semicircle joining both the poles. Starting with point A we can draw similar semicircle through point placed at each degree. These semicircles are known as meridians of longitude. One of these meridians is considered to be 0 degree. It is known as prime meridian. The angular distance of other meridian from the prime meridian are measured in degree and are called longitudes. You have done this in activity based figure 1.9 the 0 degree and 180 degree meridian lie opposite on the globe forming a circle. This circle divides the earth into eastern and western hemisphere. All meridians are equal in size. Meridian in the eastern hemisphere are labeled as 10 degree east, 25 degree east, 135 degree east etc. While in the western hemisphere they are labeled as 10 degree west, 25 degree west, 135 degree west, etc. 30 degree east is semicircle that joins all places at an angular distance of 30 degree from the prime meridian. Some of them are Cairo, Harare and Durban in Africa. See figure 1.6 Though the earth is huge in size, we can tell the exact location of a place on earth using latitude and longitude. Note that the earth distance between adjacent parallel is same everywhere but the distance between two adjacent meridian is not same everywhere. We can see this even on the segment on of, a, of an orange 
the distance between meridians is maximum on the equator and goes on reducing towards the pole at the pole it is zero the distance between two adjacent parallel is 111 km on the surface of the earth the distance between two adjacent meridian is also 111 km on the equator to locate the places within the distance of 111 km exactly we need to divide the unit degree into smaller units degrees are divided into minutes and minutes are divided into second conventionally latitudes and longitude are expressed into degrees minutes and second each degree is divided into 60 minute and minute into 60 second these values are expressed using a symbol degree dash degree minute dash meridian second dash second two time meridian Do you know the distance between any two consecutive meridian is different on different parallels? It is maximum on equator and it is zero on both the pole. Equator 111 km, Tropic of Cancer and Capricorn 112, 102 km. <coughs> Polar circles, Arctic or Antarctic 44 km, Poles North or south 0 km graticules <coughs> the parallel and meridian on the globe form a net that is called graticules this facilitates determining the location of a place we see in figure 1.10 thus we use latitude and longitude for determining the location on the earth this method is being used even in today's modern age quite efficiently geographical information system gis geographical positioning system gps are also google maps wikimapia and bhuvan of isro on the internet also make use of latitudes and Longitudes. The technology is also available in mobile phone and motor cars. Indian Regional Positioning System. India has achieved set reliance in global positioning technology with the help of IRNSS, Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System. Location locating any place in the Indian subcontinent is going to be easy for this. India is launching its own series of seven satellites. It will be then possible to locate any place in the region of South Asia and Indian Ocean precisely. Use your brain power. How many parallel meridian can be drawn? on the globe at the interval of 10 degree. I can do this. Press the angular measures of latitude and longitude on the globe or map. Read parallel of latitude or meridian of longitudes. Draw graticules on a spare object. 